Morning, everybody. Kim here on the homestead, and Petrina, and our friend Christine is here, actually helping us today. So we're working on our wood bin. We're getting our last uh, um, crossbeam up on the end down here. Then we're going to get our joists cut this way, and then we're getting ready to cut our tin. So we just thought we'd give you a piece by piece as we're doing it. So getting ready to put the last one on, and then uh, we'll start in the next section. We'll give you that update, and hopefully at the end it's going to look perfect. All right. See you later. Cheers from the homestead. But you can fix it, right? I hope so. Okay, Patrina will fix it. I'm not the executive producer. Good job, Patrina. Thanks. Hey everybody, Kim here on the homestead. End of the day, and uh, we're finally done. So, there she is. Ooh. We got her done. So, um, it didn't go too bad, I don't think. We got into a rhythm, kept it straight across the front, kept it straight across the back, and it uh, looks pretty good. So, let's walk out this way and see if, you can see the top part. Oh. <clears throat> Take a look down there. But we're pretty good around that thing. Turned out really, really well. Katrina did all the screw downs on the top and we tied into all the cross beams as well as the ones across the, the front and back. And it was a challenge working, you know, not with traditional lumber when you think about you know the pieces that we got the only ones that were traditional were these top ones here the front and the back and it's only because we had extra of these left over that were laying here from before we moved in so that was nice because those were perfectly round and able to screw into them but i mean i'm darn proud of this thing we did good how about you what do you think there i'm just really happy that we're not going to have to mess with a tarp in the snow and Oh, that's fine. Exactly. <clears throat> so our goal now um, is to actually cut some more wood and fill it all the way up. And then we'll measure it and see how many cords we actually ended up with. Um, we do have extra wood right now already piled around the side over here. But we want to make sure we have enough to make it all the way through the winter into the spring if we have to. And we're good. So next And anything project. left over means just a little less to do next year. So Yeah, exactly. So we have some uh, metal left over that we already have budgeted to finish off the um, uh, roof on the chicken pen so that Katrina doesn't get uh, snow down her neck in the winter when she walks in to feed them and stuff like that. And that their pen will be kind of dry, not just a muddy pit. So we have extra metal for that. Um, we have extra metal to finish off the front of the rabbit pen. And we bought a door so that we can actually close them all in and button them up. And I'm thinking tomorrow might actually be rabbit breeding day what do you think a little rabbit sexy time <laughs> <laughs> yep something like that all right i'm blushing anyway we got it done we're proud of it and uh i think the camera's shaking on levin's arm critique it all you want but we're very proud of it all right cheers from the homestead take care have a good weekend